So I started up my rototiller and the cord ripped right out of it. I'm gonna show you how to fix this today. These instructions are gonna work for just about any small engine, whether it's a lawn mower, weed whacker, leaf blower, or a rototiller. Let's get to it. First thing you need to do is take this off. It's called the recoil starter. This one happens to be on the side. On lawn mowers, they're on the top. They all come off pretty much the same way. You're gonna have three or four bolts around the edge. If you're working on a lawn mower, a lot of times there's a plastic cover that hides where the screws are and you can just pop that off or maybe there's a few screws for that. But this is really simple to take off. And you don't have to worry about the spring come flying out of here. The spring's all enclosed here or some similar mechanism. Let's get this on the bench and I'll show you how to put the string back in. I'm lucky here. My string broke right at the end where it goes into the starter. So I don't need to replace the string. I can just reuse the old one. If yours broke somewhere in the middle or it's frayed and you're just replacing it before it breaks, you're going to need at least six feet of this. If you have one of those lawn mowers where the pull cord is way up on the handle of the mower, you're going to need probably eight or 10 feet of this string. Step one is untangle your string. Make sure it's not going to cause you problems. Okay. Then you're going to take your starter and you'll see right here is the piece of my string that broke off and I could just pull that out. The way this starter works is when you pull on it, you see these little arms come out and that's what engages with the cup on the side of the motor. So you want to make sure they're working okay if you need to. Spray a little bit of lube in there. No heavy oil for this part. They should retract very easily. The spring that pulls the cord back in is between this plastic piece and the metal housing. And I just want to try and get some oil in there to help lubricate that spring. It's more preventative than anything else. Don't want to use a heavy oil on this. Just a nice light oil or a lithium grease will work fine. When you turn the center part counterclockwise, that engages the spring and pulls the cord back in when you let go. So what you need to do is wind this and then use your thumb to hold it in place and just keep winding it until you can't wind it any further. Once you get it all the way wound up, you don't want to force it. You'll feel when you get to the end. Find where your string goes in, which is right here. And then it's going to go onto this outer wheel. And here's the spot on this one where the string goes in. You want to slowly and carefully let it go back until you can get the string through and into this hole. probably should have trimmed that a little bit. That's better. All right, let's try this again now that I have the end of the string cleaned up. Wind this back up. it's tight and then back it off so that the spot on your wheel where the string goes through lines up with where the string comes into the housing and you want to feed your string through here and into your wheel and there it is right there and just pull out about a foot of string on the inside 
and then slowly let your wheel go and it'll pull the string back in. You don't need to wedge this in place or try and hold it while you're messing with the string. Just pull a little bit through and then let it wind up and pull the string back in. But let it go slowly. You don't want this thing whipping around. Okay. Now you can take your string and tie a knot in the end of it. I'm sure there's some kind of fancy knot you're supposed to use, but I like this knot right here. Whatever it is. Now pull your string back out. Get your knot seated where it needs to be. And then slowly let it back in again. And now we're ready to reinstall. Whenever you're working with a part that has screws all the way around it like this, it's always a good idea to start all of your screws before you tighten any of them up all the way. Let's see how we did. If you do need a replacement cord, you can pick them up at almost any hardware store. If you don't feel like leaving the house for something like that, I'll put a link in the description down below where you can pick it up online. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll take a minute to hit the like and subscribe.